All right, so we have to slide the battery into position around all these uh, spot ties. That's going to be a little tricky. I think we can get it there. Again, we want it quite clear of uh, our terminals here. Our DC to DC converter. Show them that wrench, Ryan. Uh, we uh, put it's actually a mil spec shrink wrap, quite thick, with an adhesive that we've uh, put around the wrench and shrunk it. If you get a piece of metal, I'll just say, uh, I'm not wearing my wristwatch. We actually did this last night. Got one of these terminals. Uh, on the wrong battery terminal by accident, dropping it. And uh, the problem with these uh, systems is they put out a lot of current and a lot of power. And you can arc weld that wrench across a couple terminals very easily and uh, burn yourself quite badly. It's a much an electrocution hazard. It is a burn hazard. And you can imagine if you get a wristwatch across uh, a couple terminals. You get your uh, arm back when uh, your hand burns off and falls to the ground, and it will too. Uh, check all your connections. Make sure they're pretty snug. One of the biggest problems is loose connections. If they're a little bit loose, and they will with the thermal heating and cooling, they'll get a little bit loose. You want to go around once a month, tighten all your connections. The reason for that is a little bit of a loose connection introduces a little bit of resistance if the current flows. In this car, typically five to six hundred amps. A very small bit of resistance causes a great deal of heat. Heat, of course, worsens the resistance, and that increases the amount of heat. You get into kind of a death spiral there, um, where as you use the car, you're building up more and more heat in the connection. And eventually you can burn the thing to the ground if you try hard enough. There. And we're starting to tighten that up. Uh, do we have a pair of diagonal pliers? Yes. you snip those off. I'm working awful hard here. I normally put bolts in and cross thread them in the proper place and uh, Brian here usually comes along, takes them out, retaps them and uh, re-threads them and gets them reinstalled for me and we've been working that way for six months. Bushings holding our tie bar off the batteries. Ooh, I can 
hid my social drinking on me. So there's our DC to DC converter. This is the additional pack on our uh, front pack, and that's our additional pack on the back pack. Um, that should give us about 120 volts uh, in operation um, and another 10 miles of range. Um, and we have the room, we just had to build a platform. And, uh, and what took so long is uh, we worked on different battery boxes and so forth. That's not really what we want in this case. Uh, we want uh, a system that's uh, non-conductive and that we can get in and out easily. And I think these uh, nylon zip ties and this tie bar is uh, with the rubber washers it looks very strange but I think it's uh, it's going to be the best to live with that we can get them in and out and uh, but that they'll ride um, without sliding around 